next fourth problem. Find the quadratic equation find the quadratic equation the sum of the sum of whose roots is 1 and the sum of the squares and the sum of the squares sum of the squares of the roots of the roots is 13. So, that means just go through the problem for example, let alpha beta with the roots of this equation. Now, the sum of the roots alpha plus beta is equal to 1 given. Here sum of the squares of the roots that means alpha square plus beta square is given. As we know the alpha plus beta and alpha square plus beta square let us think can we find out alpha beta. If you know the alpha beta then we can find out the quadratic equation using the formula the quadratic equation with roots alpha comma beta is x square minus of alpha plus beta into x plus alpha beta is equal to 0. So, that means here first let alpha comma beta be the roots of the required equation. required equation am I correct. So, now given alpha plus beta is equal to 1 and alpha square plus beta square is equal to how much given that is 13. Okay. Now, this alpha square plus beta square is equal to 13 means we have one formula. So, alpha plus beta whole square minus 2 alpha beta is equal to alpha square plus beta square. We have this relation. So, substitute here alpha plus beta 1 square 1 minus 2 alpha beta is equal to 13. Now, minus 2 alpha beta is equal to 12. Alpha beta is equal to 12 by minus 2 means minus 6. Now, we know alpha plus beta and alpha beta. Now, the required quadratic equation with roots alpha beta is are given by x square minus of alpha plus beta into x plus alpha beta is equal to 0. What is alpha plus beta? 1 alpha beta is minus 6. So, x square minus 1 into x so plus into minus 6 is equal to 0. Therefore, x square minus x minus 6 is equal to 0. Now, let us move to the fifth problem fifth problem. So, fifth problem. If alpha beta are the roots of a x square plus b x plus c is equal to 0, then find 1 by alpha square plus 1 by beta square. Okay, let us find out. 
So, first let us have a discussion on this one. As alpha, comma, beta are the roots of this, equa this equation, we can find out alpha plus beta and alpha beta. So, after that what we have to find out? 1 by alpha square plus 1 by beta square. The first step what we have to find out means alpha plus beta and alpha beta. So, now the solution since alpha beta are the roots of a x square plus b x plus c is equal to 0. Okay. Then we know that alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a, alpha beta is equal to c by a. We have discussed in the introduction session only. Now, 1 by alpha square plus 1 by beta square. This is our aim. This, this has to be evaluated. Now, here LCM is alpha square beta square. You get beta square plus alpha square. So, that is in the form of algebraic formula A square plus B square. That we can write alpha plus 